Good Wednesday afternoon and thank you for joining Local 5 News at 4. I'm Caitlin Corbett coming to you live from our Fox Valley newsroom. A man accused of sexually assaulting a 12 year old girl and the woman accused of trafficking the girl to the man appeared in Fond du Lac County Court this morning. Local 5's Paul Stino is live for us with all the details. Hey Paul. Hi, Caitlin. Yeah, according to the criminal complaint, the man blindfolded the child, attempted to tape her hand to a car seat, and also sexually assaulted her through her clothing. This all allegedly happened in the back of a van that was parked in a remote area in Fond du Lac County near the village of Oakfield. The criminal complaint says the girl was able to fight back, open the van door, and run to a nearby house to get help. Juan Carlos Roca Maella is now facing first degree sexual assault, child enticement, strangulation, suffocation, and false imprisonment charges. He made an initial appearance in court this morning. Alia Antonio has been accused of trafficking that girl to Mahaya. She made an appearance in court this morning and she faces trafficking a child and failure to protect a child charges. According to the criminal complaint, Maella and Antonio are dating. Antonio told police she was scared of my. Mahaya, and she had no choice but to do what he wanted. According to the complaint, she told police she had called my Mahaya while the alleged assault was happening and heard the victim screaming. However, she never called police. The district attorney says both defendants are in the United States illegally. One of the sad realities, we know human trafficking exists all over the world and uh, Fond du Lac County and other parts of Wisconsin are not immune to that. There can be limited times because they're difficult cases to investigate for charges to be filed um, and we're going to let the case proceed through the judicial system. And Caitlin, a Fond du Lac County judge did set a $1 million cash bond for both defendants. Both of them are due back in court for preliminary hearings on June 7th. Live from Fond du Lac County, Paul Stino, Local 5 News.